Okay, so Ernest gave you a very powerful quote by Abraham Lincoln, but do not let it fool you. This quote deals with the issue of prohibition and how it will ultimately lead to a form of intemperance. Let, let me remind you that the topic we are debating tonight is the lowering of the drinking age from 21 to 18. My partner and I believe that it would be in the country's best interest to keep the current drinking age as it is because we feel that 18-year-olds are unlikely to practice drinking in moderation. According to the United States Center for Disease Control, most underage youth who drink do so to the point of intoxication, that is, they binge drink, defined as having five or more drinks in a row, typically on multiple occasions. Drinking alcohol is a privilege and should be treated as such, and allowing an 18-year-old to consume alcohol is like giving them the key to their own self-destruction. Young, young binge drinkers are not only damaging their emotional well-being, but they are stunting their, their own brain growth. Recent studies have shown that the human brain continues to develop into a person's 20s. According to an article found on, on SurgeonGeneral.gov, new disturbing research indicates that the developing adolescent brain may be particularly susceptible to long-term negative consequences from alcohol use. Ernest also mentions to you that an 18-year-old who is el eligible to serve in the United States military, then he, is, then he or she should also be able to sit back and enjoy a beer. However, I find it hard to believe that an 18-year-old would stop at just one drink. There are age requirements for many different things. A 12-year-old has the right to own a, a hunting gun, and a 16-year-old has the right to drive a vehicle. But what Ernest failed to mention was that, was that these age requirements are in place for a good reason. In the case of alcohol, as I mentioned before, the brain is not fully developed until the early to mid-20s, and the consumption of alcohol while the brain is still developing can lead to serious and long-lasting deficits on the ability to learn and memorize. The opposition also advocated three main reasons why the drinking age should be lowered. One, you are considered an adult at 18. Well, yes, but again, the brain is not fully <coughs> developed until a person reaches mid-20s and alcohol can seriously damage a brain. Two, the current law has not stopped those under 21 from drinking. No, it has. Um, no, it has not, but it is impossible to ensure that the law will be able to stop those under 18 from drinking if the current age were to be lowered. The current law creates unsafe conditions for these for those underage. Yes, but if the drinking age is lowered to 18, this particular problem will not cease. It will merely be transferred to younger kids in society. Ernest also mentions that the 21 drinking age requirement is not working. I'd like to remind you that the age requirement was already lowered once in, 19, in 1984, and the results were so disastrous that it, brought, that it brought it back up to 21. As for the unfortunate college student who died of alcohol poisoning at the University of Colorado, this only furthers our exact point that the drinking age should remain in place. Gordy was not forced, as Ernest stated, but he was just like any other 18-year-old who was not quite mature enough to make a responsible decision. Gordy died a lonely, painful death, one that could have been avoided had the other boys been responsible enough to seek medical attention, but they were not. Any responsible and mature adult like the person um, would have sought the appropriate medical attention immediately. It is apparent that neither, of the boys were, that neither of the boys were responsible or mature, and so they should not have been drinking in the first place. Thank you.